All right, now we're inside the motorhome. This is a part two of the the tour I was giving you folks of this Damon Intruder Class A motorhome. This is a quick walk around of the inside to show you the layout and uh, some of the, the features. Um, as you can see, this is the kitchen slide out I was mentioning earlier. It's a really nice, nice layout, especially if you like to cook. Um, most motorhomes you see the uh, the couch and dinette slide out, and that couch folds out into a bed. By the way, but with this one, you got this huge slide out kitchen. Uh, so if you like to cook, this this is the model to have. Um, large residential style solid Corian type countertops um, plenty of storage beautiful solid wood uh, cabinet facings uh, Damon did a really good job uh, with the storage on on these units um, they put an emphasis on on making them livable and having plenty of places to put your put your your knickknacks and and uh, everything that you might need or want on a trip. Um, another uncommon feature in more modern motorhomes is both a large microwave oven, a conven convection microwave oven, and a uh, propane oven. Um, why that's uncommon is in more recent years, a lot of motor, motor coach companies went with either one or the other. Um, you either have just a convection oven and, and no propane oven or a propane oven and just a, a small microwave but this has both so it's kind of the best of both worlds nothing beats a propane oven in my opinion convection microwave ovens are nice but they're not the same that's a three burner cooktop uh, and obviously when it's not being used it folds uh, folds flat you got this solid countertop your sink covers and this really nice four-person dinette. Um, a lot of motorhomes you see, if they even have uh, a dinette with the standalone chairs, they're a two-person, but this is a four. And we really like this setup for two reasons. First off, obviously, there's more space at the table for for people. You can fit four people around. But when you're not uh, when you're not eating, you can move these four chairs into this main area and entertain. So it gives you more. More space and seating for entertaining guests. You can watch the TV or just talk. That, by the way, is a, I believe, a 21-inch all-in-one TV. It's a flat screen and a computer all-in-one, so you can watch DVDs or you know surf Wi-Fi, surf the net if you wish. Beautiful soft leather recliner. It's a swivel recliner. Uh, leather. Captain's chairs, the driver's chairs, uh, fully power. Um, nice wraparound dash, upgraded uh, sound system. It really rocks. There's speakers front to back, all the way to the back of the coach, and this thing, this thing pounds. This has an Onan generator, a large Onan Cummins generator. It's big enough to power both AC units and everything else that you want to to power. We actually have the rear AC, rear AC on now because it's, it's kind of a warm July day. Two-door fridge with ice maker. There's the ice maker. As you can see, there's there's food in it. This thing gets really cold. Works great. And this is the large master bedroom I was telling you about, the super slide master bedroom. For those of you that have seen motor coaches, with the bedroom slide, you probably already know that it's usually only the bed itself that slides out. With this, your hallway slides out too, and you got this really big wardrobe with mirrors, perfect for getting ready. And that's what this is designed for. It's designed for, if you want to get ready, all you do is you can close this residential style pocket door off and block yourself from the rest, rest of the motorhome, and you have all this room to get ready. The bathroom is self-contained and it's a large one. You got a tub shower, a glass enclosure, porcelain toilet, um, large vanity, 
And uh, why this is kind of uncommon is in a lot of motorhomes you see the either the toilet across the hallway in its own little closet or the sink across the hallway or something. And it, it kind of gets annoying because uh, it means you got to go across the hallway to finish what you're doing. So if you want to wash your hands, you got to go into another room, or if you want to grab a shower, again in another room, and then when you want to get dressed, you got to go across the hallway. This is all together, so it's really nice. Very large wardrobe. It's got a lot of stuff in it right now, but it lights up as you can see. Plenty of space. His and hers end tables. Uh, that in the corner there is an entertainment system. You got stereo and what have you. Uh, we got upgraded Pioneer speakers. I have the air conditioner running in this in this uh, back part, um, and it's all operated from right here. We're actually going to turn that off just so you can hear me a little better. But you can have the back end, this back bedroom, as hot or as cold as you want without affecting those in the main area. Uh, TV in the corner with a DVD player. Also has cable hookups. Large hanging closet, as we refer to it. Because, well, you can hang stuff. You can hang jackets, shirts, pants, what have you. Lots and lots of storage. This also has a secondary... Uh, residential style pocket door because if you don't want to block that whole area off if you want to leave that the, the bed uh, sorry the bathroom open to your guests you can just close this pocket door off just to close the, the bedroom and leave that area uh, accessible to guests lots and lots of storage and you got this beautiful uh, illuminated vanity or makeup table I should say um, really nice for getting ready. You can pull in a chair or a stool in front of the makeup table, get ready. Um, and just, again, no, sto no shortage of, of storage. This is a motorhome basically built around this giant bedroom. And what I mean by that is it, I find a lot of motorhomes, the bedroom is kind of an afterthought. You know, yes, it, they, some of them are nice, they got large beds, but they're not really thought out. This, everything was thought out, from the, the, the large makeup tables to this master bedroom slide where the whole hallway slides out so you can block off the, the bathroom with the bedroom, kind of make the bathroom part of the bedroom. Um, so, uh, you know, if you want to get ready or, or, or what have you, it makes it a lot easier. And it kind of it kind of feels more like more like home. It doesn't necessarily feel like you're in a small cramped little motorhome. This of course is a walk around queen bed with underbed storage, lots of storage. Gonna walk back to the front as you can see. Really nice, clean design, uh, well layout laid out. Um, those are uh, rosin visors, commonly found in airplanes. Pretty pricey, but they're really handy. This has the upholstered headliner, which cuts down sound. Um, Got to watch out. If, you know, you can't can't be flinging around spaghetti sauce, but uh, uh, it uh, it really helps keep the sound down and quiet things in the motor motorhome. Ducted AC, residential style AC, and uh, heater vents. Again, this is a Damon Intruder. 359 motorhome with the two slide outs, master bedroom super slide, um, and the four person dinette. Beautiful layout. If you ever get a chance to, to look at one, uh, grab that opportunity because they're a really well built coach. Level of quality you only see in diesel pushers, but this you get the convenience of a gas pusher. Really high end features. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tour, folks. Have a great day.